So today we are harvesting catfish from a nursery pond. We are not harvesting them to process them. We are only harvesting just so we can transfer them to a much bigger pond so that they can grow bigger and have optimum growth. It's been 72 days since we kept this fish in this nursery pond. Yes, that's me. My name is Tiki and I'm a catfish farmer and you are welcome to my catfish farm. On this farm, we are into catfish production and fish processing and packaging and sales of dry fish. But today, allow me to walk you through my little fish farming expenditure. On the 10th of August 2024, I got supplies of catfish juveniles from a breeder in Delta State. We ordered for 5,000 pieces catfish, the Heterobranchus longifilis type. We bought them at the rate of 200 naira each, totaling 1 million naira for the whole 5,000. We kept them in an eating pond that we used in nursing catfish before transferring them to a grow-out pond. So they spent 72 days in that pond. The pond measures about 10 meters by 10 meters, and the depth of the water inside the pond is 1.2 meters. So after 72 days in the nursery pond, between the 10th of August 2024 to 21st of October 2024, we took all the fish out, we counted and weighed them on a scale, just so we can sort and separate the big ones from the small ones. We stocked 5,000 pieces, and we got 4,260 pieces left in the pond. That's about 740 pieces less from the initial stocked quantity, that's about 17.4% loss in number in just 72 days. That's it to tell you that most mortality that occurs in catfish farming happens at the tender stage when your fish are still small. And the probable causes are when you don't cover your pond with a net, birds will come and prey and feast on your fish. When you don't cover the side walls of your pond, snakes, frogs, those things can gain access into your pond and eat your fish. And when you don't feed your fish well on time, catfish are carnivorous in nature. They can prey on the weak ones inside the pond. These are the things that leads to reduction in the number. So the total weight we got after harvesting, because we took measurement of, of the old fish that we harvested, we got 645 kg in total. We now minus the initial weight of these 5,000 juveniles when we brought them. Because when we bought the juveniles, we took the weight of the juveniles, which was 30 kg for the 5,000 when they were still small. They were at the average weight of 6 grams when we bought them. So we took away 30 kg from the 645 kg. And we arrived at 615 kg, which was the weight gain in the course of 72 days. So the total feed intake for this fish was 532.2 kg of this creatine fish feed because I use creatine now. That's about 35.5 bags of fish feed because the bag of fish feeds comes at 15 kg per bag. From that 35.5 bags, 17 bags out of it was 2 mm and 14 bags out of it was 3 mm and 4.5 bags out was 4 mm. The total amount we spent on the feed was 1,032,400 because the average price of these fish feeds when you are buying for small fish is around 29,000 naira per bag. Now looking at the feed conversion ratio at the early stage, it is impressive, but it gets poorer when your fish grows bigger. Feed conversion ratio simply means FCR. Most farmers need to understand the FCR because it plays a great role in knowing how profitable catfish farming will be. That is one thing about catfish farming. You can actually know what your profit will be like right before you even start. That is one thing I enjoy in catfish farming. So this is the formula for the FCR conversion ratio. It is you divide the weight of the feed intake, you divide it by the weight gain of the fish. So now, our total weight of the feed intake was 532.2 kg. And the weight gain of the fish is 615. So we divide 532.2 by 615. And the FCR is 
five kg. That is, for every 865 grams of fish feed that we use to feed catfish, about six to seven pieces of this fish was able to give one kg. That is impressive, right? But it gets poorer as the fish grows bigger because nobody will want to sell fish at these sizes because they are small. The average weight of the fish as at the time that we transferred them was 150 grams. In case you don't know what FCR is, it is the conventional way of determining the efficiency of livestock feed performance. And the lower FCR indicates higher efficiency. And the higher FCR indicates lower efficiency. For this fish that we are transferring, the journey has just begun. The reason why we did sorting was that we want to separate the big fish from the small fish so that they don't grow together. Because when you don't separate or do sorting, cannibalism occurs. The big fish will start preying on the small fish, which may affect the growth of the small fish. That is why we do sorting. It's one of the reasons why we keep the fish in a nursery pond for a while before we transfer them to a grow out pond. So in a nursery pond, there is room for you to see the ones that have tendency to grow big. So you can easily remove them and put uniform sizes in the pond. Now, these are some of the fish that we transferred into a much bigger pond where we are going to be feeding them till they attain the marketable sizes that we want them to attain, which is four kilograms on the average. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.